So what are the odds that we'd have two Captain Marvel movies out at the same time? What am I talking about? Well Shazam was the OG Captain Marvel back in the day before it changed his name. And he's been around for almost as long as Superman. Now I only had time to review one of these two movies and I'm picking Shazam for two reasons. Number one is that it's relatively unknown and I like to support the underdog. And number two is I just think it's a better movie. Now if I had to describe this movie in one word, it would be fun. And that's because it was funny, it was lighthearted, it had good action, it had some nice messages in there about friendship and family. Speaking of family, it's a really good family movie, but if you have kids younger than five, they might be traumatized in a few places because it can get a bit scary. And that's because director David Sandberg is known for horror work like Annabelle Creation and Lights Out. He did a fantastic job overall, but he did utilize that skill set. And you'll see what I'm talking about when you watch the movie. Overall, the movie just had a nice blend of different tones. It had the horror in there a little bit. It did tug at the heartstrings at other parts as well. I did tear up a few times, but if you actually know me, you know that's not saying much at all. But it is what it is. Now, I would say this movie feels like a mashup of two different movies. Number one being Big with Tom Hanks. You know, the mind of a boy gets transformed magically into the body of a man. And number two would be Sam Raimi's Spider-Man. You know, a teenager who suddenly gets powers and has to realize that with great power comes great responsibility. And not to mention that they both feel Shazam! Shazam! Now Shazam is known as Earth's Mightiest Mortal and he's got a whole host of powers. To name a few, he's got super strength, super speed, and just like the Galaxy S10, he's got wireless charging. Your phone charged. You can check out my review for the S10 linked below. Now let's talk about the casting. Zachary Levi was perfectly cast as Shazam. He brought this really youthful, energetic charm to the role, and he was exactly what I expected from a teenager in a man's body. I'd like to purchase some of your finest beer, please. I've been a fan of Zachary Levi ever since he was the OG Chuck B. And I don't mean Chuck Bass, I mean Chuck Bartowski in Chuck, which is a great series, I highly recommend you watch it. Now here's a fun fact, Zachary Levi was originally in the Marvel Universe as Thor's sidekick Fandral, but I'm so glad he's got this leading role now because he fits it perfectly. And then we have Asher Angel, which kind of sounds like a superhero name in and of itself. Now Asher plays younger Billy who turns into Shazam and I think he did a pretty good job of portraying Billy's character development and character arc throughout the movie. And then we have Billy's foster family and they were all great. They had their own individual personalities, they were warm, they had this close connection, they really brought the heart for the movie. I have to give a special mention to Jack Dylan Grazier who plays Freddy. He was fantastic, he brought the most amount of laughs and his chemistry with Asher and Zachary was electric. It's crazy, right? As a fellow superhero geek, I did relate to his character and he did say a lot of what I was thinking. And then we have Mark Strong who plays Dr. Savannah. And he's a great actor with a lot of gravitas and it's not the first time he's played a DC villain. He was also Sinestro in Green Lantern. You know that movie that some people like to pretend never existed, especially Ryan Reynolds. And please don't make the super suit green. Or animated. Now his backstory was kind of similar to Billy, so they had some parallels there which was cool. But I just wish they had a bit more depth to his character and motivations because I felt they were kind of underutilizing Mark Strong. And then we have the wizard played by Jaimon Honsu. Who? That guy. And I've been a fan of his ever since Never Back Down. You can always change your position. You can definitely tell he follows his own advice because he's now been two different characters in the Marvel Universe and now he's in the DC Universe too. It was also good to see John Glover again who once again plays the father of a bald villain. Now the casting choices aren't the only superhero references you're going to get in this movie. There are plenty scattered throughout. It's very abundantly clear that it is connected to the rest of the DC Universe. However, it can stand on its own two feet. I also can't wait to see Shazam take on The Rock, who was cast as Black Adam a really long time ago. Now in terms of tone, I would say that Shazam is the polar opposite of Man of Steel. But I love both ends of the spectrum, and I would put Shazam at number 2 on my DC rankings, just ahead of Wonder Woman, and just behind Man of Steel. Now I know that's not a popular opinion, but I'm clearly biased here. Now this movie is very self-aware, it knows exactly what it's going for, and it nails it. 
It's hilarious. It's got great action, great acting, nice heartfelt moments, nice messages and values. It's a great family movie and I had an awesome time with this movie. If you walk out of the theatre without cracking a smile at least once, I'm sorry, I think you might just be a little bit dead inside. I'm going to give this four and a half out of five pies. You definitely have to go watch it. So if you like this movie review and you want to see more, including Avengers Infinity War Endgame, which I'm super excited for, make sure you hit like and subscribe to see more. I'm also going to have a bunch of other assorted content for you as well. I'd highly recommend watching it at rating cinemas, especially the Titan Lux Lounge. You're going to get way more bang for your buck. There's wall-to-wall -wall screens, luxurious recliner seats, Dolby Atmos surround sound, and you're going to have a great time. My go-to cinema is at Rouse Hill Town Center, which is this amazing outdoor street-side shopping center, which is this pretty unique experience. It's got pretty much anything you could want, from shops to food courts to hairdressers and even a gym. I'd like to give a quick shout out to Alex Morningstar for hooking me up with tickets. No relation to Lucifer, I already checked. So what's your favorite DC movie? And are you excited for Avengers Endgame? Let me know in the comments below and I'll catch you on the next one. Stay awesome.